guys, welcome back. Today is actually our last ABC build challenge video. We are on the letter Z. I uh, was very hesitant about this one because as like with several other letters in the alphabet, it's very ziggy, very zaggy, very angular, and The Sims 2 doesn't like that. But I think I managed to create something created something. It's not perfect. It's basically I created two duplexes and their yards are triangle shaped. Realistic? Probably not, but like it works. <laughs> A lot of these I couldn't put like typical roofs on just because the roofing in The Sims 2, like it was just not gonna happen. So they have like the flat roof, but again, I think it's fine. It's cute. I had a lot of fun with this, I will say. And I'm also planning on taking some of these builds, even if they're just background, but like plunking them down somewhere. It's really making me want to play a modern game, but like also I know if I do that, I need to download a lot more CC, especially build CC, because doing this was rough. I really didn't have, I just, I don't have a lot of modern CC. A couple years ago, I was like, I'm going to be a medieval girl all the time. And so I deleted the folder that I had, that I'd had for years, just deleted it. And I've regretted it ever since. <laughs> because I had some CC that just doesn't exist anymore and like I can't even remember it because it's been so long. But yeah, now I don't have that and I need to download it and I have been downloading quite a bit. It's just also installing and then making sure I'm installing it in a way that doesn't break my game and you know, typical Sims 2 stuff. So that's basically it. We're done. We're going to be moving back to your regular videos that I've been doing, which is exciting, but also like, I don't know. I'm going to miss building, I think. It was, it was kind of relaxing to just do builds. It, it was stressful too, because some of these builds I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, we'll be going back to normal things. Um, I am working on the fantasy story that I plan on doing. I'm very excited about it. I've got it planned out. I'm tentatively calling it chapters, but it's not really, that's not how it's gonna work so much. It's just, I'm almost gonna play it as seasons. So like, they'll have the winter season and I'll tell whatever portion of the story that I need to tell and then next season kind of thing. So then I can have also have just like a little bit of a break in between. My next step is going to be building sets because I need to build sets to do like, there's like a pre cool -y thing just to explain what I'm doing. And then I need to build like the actual neighborhood. Uh, I still haven't decided if I'm going to try to take the like, Game of Thrones Sims that I generated directly or if I'm just going to be inspired by them. Because I did pick out some of them, but yeah. I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's it's gonna be great. I have a lot of Sims to make though, because I mean, I guess I can just tell, it's not really a spoiler, but like I'm starting off with um, some characters from the uh, like Game of Thrones world, we'll call it, but none of them are like actually characters that were in the books. I'm using surnames and first names that exist in the books, but like they're, they're not meant to. This is definitely alternative reality. Uh, I'm also going to have Wheel of Time Sims. Again, alternative reality, not meant to be anyone that we know. And then um, Skyrim. Those were the three that I wanted to start with in terms of the groups. There will also be original gods because it's fun. But yeah, I don't know necessarily, I, I have lots of plants, like, but it's just, it's gonna, we're, we're gonna be organic about it. Cause there's a lot of fandoms that I really enjoy that I would like to have, but like, I don't want to add them all at once. I want to add it in a way that makes sense to the story that I'm building. And really this is just my way of like, I don't have time to write all the fan fiction in the world that I want to write. So like, this is my love story to these stories that I love. Um, Lord of the Rings is going to be there, Once Upon a Time, Supernatural, Winona Earp. I do want there to be, because 
the whole concept is based on like the nothing from Neverending Story, where like the world is being destroyed because people don't believe it in anymore. And so that's what's happening to these worlds as they're disappearing. So I want to do that in a way that makes sense. My only limitation thus far has been the worlds that I include must have some magic system in place so I can't include like fandoms that don't have magic at all because it wouldn't make sense for what I built like I couldn't add a character from person of interest or killing Eve just like I couldn't I, I'm trying to limit myself because there's so, but there's also there's so many shows that I love that have magic so it's like really difficult and then like how do I define the magic because like stranger things is L technically magic? And like that second world that's been created, am I considering that a form of magic because they're monsters? Or is it science that we don't understand yet? So, yeah, I don't know. I have, a, I have a big long list. King of Hearts, Riddick, Buffy, you name it. But we'll see what I actually end up with. I'm, I'm starting off slow. I'm excited. I'm really, I just, I want to like, I just want it to be out, but like, there's a lot to do. <laughs> there's a lot to do. A lot to build. I'm like looking at my build list going, oh my gosh. So yeah, that's, it should be fun. And I'm hoping that this will also inspire me in like my own like fiction writing. Maybe I'll finish something, who knows? I currently have, I counted my like works in progress of original works, 14, 14 different potential novels. I just, I get excited about it. And that's just the ones on this computer. I haven't even looked at the ones on my laptop or the ones that are on my other computer, the, just this computer. And it's because I have a problem where I, I've said it before and I've said it again. I write it, I really love it, I'm super hyper focused on it, and then like all of a sudden I wake up and I go, this is actually the worst thing that anyone has ever written in their life, in the history of human existence. I am a bad person for writing it. And so I bury it in my computer and then I find it years later and I love it, but I've also forgotten half the details, so it's like a problem. And I recognize that it's a problem, but I also have not been able to resolve that problem. I'm, I'm, I'm taking steps. I'm taking some baby steps. We'll see if I can do it. I mean, I know that I can continue with this. It's just, yeah, it's hard. Being in charge of yourself is hard sometimes when you have ex executive dysfunction. But like, I've been playing a deer in for a very long time and I've been telling that story in little snippets. So like, I keep telling myself that that's kind of the same thing, even though it's not. <laughs> it's at least been consistent-ish, maybe, potentially, possibly, I don't know. So yeah, hold, hold me to it is what I'm saying. Hold me to this fantasy story that I'm writing and demand receipts, I don't know, I don't know. We're almost done with the builds. Thank you guys so much for watching all these videos. I hope you've enjoyed them or at least gotten some inspiration from them. I've really had fun with them. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.